Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hello, my name is Amy. Welcome, thank you for making your way here. So today I'm gonna be filming like a really casual chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm gonna do like a zero to 100. So I'm obviously starting to look like this with frizzy hair and I'm actually gonna do my hair on camera. I feel like I never ever do that. So I'm gonna do that on camera. Not that I can really do hair, but you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, yeah, so if you want to sit and get ready with me, then please keep watching. So this is the Urban Decay Brow Beater. It's what I've been using at the moment. I absolutely love it. So I've been, where I've been trying to like grow my eyebrows out at the moment, like I feel like this just gives like a more fluffier, natural look. Whereas when I like tint and thread them, they're like, this eyebrow is so good and this eyebrow is so bad. I've got a scar, so obviously no hair grows here. And then like it, the scar ends like literally here and like no hair grows there. So just basically fill in whatever I feel needs it. So I don't know how many of you actually follow me on Twitter. I don't really have many people on there at all. But honestly, me and Sam went out the other night and afterwards I was like absolutely starving. So I went and got a burger from Five Guys. And you know, like, if anyone's been five guys, then you know they have, like, a like a um, big tray of peanuts that you can just go and help yourself. And Sam didn't realise. He was like, oh, like, I was like, he wasn't eating because he'd already eaten. So I just grabbed a burger. And um, I was like, oh, why don't you just grab some peanuts? And he was like, oh, okay, like, are they free? I was like, yeah, you just go and help yourself. So he goes over and, like, before he even gets back to the, um, like, the table where I'm sitting, I see him just pick up a whole peanut like in its coating like in its um like shell and he yeah and I just hear like the crunch and going like and I was literally like I just looked at him and I was, I was just like waiting myself I was like did he actually just do that and he's just munching on this thing and he goes cool I'm gonna need a drink after this and I was like I just picked up a peanut and like opened it out its shell and was like you just want to take the shell off <laughs> Honestly, it was so funny. It's just typical Sam, like, so let's just crack on. And there's the ice cream man. I'm gonna do my hair on camera today as well and I literally, like, I can't do hair, so. I don't know, I just thought I'd get fully ready for my day with you guys. Um, going around my friend's house later for some drink tomorrow. I, I can talk about it because when this video goes up, it would have gone. Uh, my friend Alice, who has been in America, she's coming home. She's coming home, so her mum has booked like a surprise afternoon tea and we're all gonna go there tomorrow and surprise her. So that'll be good. I literally can't wait to see her. Plus, I just love afternoon tea. I love cakes, scones, cream, tea, obviously. Um, Yeah, I can't wait can't wait can't wait to stuff my face full of food i think my dad wants to go to pizza express as well in the evening so i'm literally gonna like gain two stone this weekend but that's fine because i love eating i feel like if i manage to get ready today that'll be like a miracle honestly i've been trying since half 12 and it's now two o'clock i can't believe how fast this year is going I can't believe how fast time's going. Like that does not feel like I've just sat here for like two hours doing absolutely nothing. Like it's gonna be October soon and Halloween. Like, sorry, where has this year gone? Like I actually don't understand. It's my birthday soon. Woo -woo. Speaking of my birthday, me and Sam really, really want to go away for our birthdays. Like they're really close together. Um, and we really want to go away for our birthdays, but we can't think of anywhere to go. Like, I really want to go to like somewhere with like a hot tub, countryside, uh, like really relaxing and peaceful. But then at the same time, there's still loads of like activities to do, like just like go out and about and stuff. So if anyone has any recommendations, then please send them my way because. I just, I feel like we need to book it soon because our birthdays are literally just around the corner. Where I've tried to put makeup on so many times today on my eyes, the 
Makeup doesn't want to stick there anymore, which is great. Why does that happen? Like, quit playing games. It's too late to go back now. I'm going with it. So I'm going to apply like a foiled shadow. I feel like I haven't done a look like this for so long. And I just thought, why not? Let's just go with it and just do something that I've not done in ages. I'm going to take this shade Trick from my Naked Free palette because it's like one of my favourites. Um, and just going to pick this up on my finger because I feel like you always get so much more pigment when you use the finger. Actually, I feel like using a brush probably is easier. <laughs> okay, so I am back from probably what is the most failed get ready with me anyone on YouTube has ever filmed. Like, I don't know what was happening with my eyeshadow, but I just could not. I just couldn't. It was going so bad. Like, I might even insert at the end some of that, the most awful bits, because trust me, it just looked diabolical. Now, that was a good word. Right, we're going to do our skin together, chat, and I will do my hair, my frizzy, frizzy hair with you guys as well. So, let's get started. So, obviously, I've done my eyes. I will talk you through what I've done. Um, I basically used my Tarte, um, what is it called? Uh, Tarte in Bloom palette. And I just did like a neutral transition and then I put the darker shade in and then I just used a really cute shade from my Urban Decay Naked Free palette as the like foiled shadow and I stuck on a winged liner because I never ever wear winged liner like I've realised that like I never wear it and I actually do really like it and then that was just the Beppa Car Shimmering Skin I want to talk through everything I want to just have a chat really um I'm just using products that I always use so that was so too much wow so yeah what was we talking about birthdays halloween it's gonna be christmas soon i really i've got some exciting things that i want to film like there's so many good ideas that i've got um i just can't wait i want to do like something for christmas like whether it's like 12 days or like six days of christmas can you just make up like how many days you want to do and do like a giveaway every day maybe i'll just see how many really good prizes i can afford and then do like a christmas thing um i also want to do i want to do more giveaways in the future that reminds me if you haven't already followed me on my instagram or twitter or anything like that then do because I'll be announcing my giveaway really really soon I know I hit a thousand subscribers like a, last week I think it was or the week before but I've just been like really trying to get like a good giveaway together like I don't want to just do it like half-hearted and get like shit things and a shit giveaway really because I feel like not that it's not going to be good but I don't know, like, for my giveaway, I just obviously, I want to give back. And I want to give you guys some really good goodies. So, bear with me, because makeup's not cheap. So, it will be coming, I'm going to say, within the next week. Which is exciting. Like, I've packaged all of it up already. Like, all the bits I've got so far. If you don't follow me on um, Twitter, then... I think you should because I feel like that's like <laughs> I think you should <laughs> you don't have to but I just feel like that's like the best way of like I don't know getting to know me more because I find that obviously I don't post that much on Instagram and that's just like pictures that I want you guys to see whereas Twitter I feel like it's almost like a not like a uh, I feel like it's almost like a feed of my like brain faults like I don't know, just how I think and how I, like, word stuff. Like, I'm one of those people that, you know, when you're, like, texting in a conversation, I won't put, like, I won't put 
the whole sentence in one like in one text i'll send it like in sentences i'm that annoying person and i feel like i don't know on twitter i feel like you can just gauge so much more about how i am as a person as opposed to looking at pictures that i want you to see on instagram um and then obviously on like youtube like on here i feel like sometimes you don't get to like you don't really get to know like what how i am because when i'm doing makeup tutorials i want them to be like really really informative and then i'm trying to like not make them boring and then i'm trying to let you like know my personality and i find it really really difficult like sometimes when i'm editing back i'm like i feel like i'm really boring or like i'm like a robot or something and i'm actually like I, find, I think I'm a really funny, I think I'm really funny if I may say so myself. Do you know what I mean? Just like, I, like I'm not a boring person. So I, I like, when I'm editing my videos back, sometimes I find it really hard. Like to, I don't know, I just feel like that's not like completely me. Because, I don't know, I just find sometimes with makeup, it is hard to get yourself across. The only thing with doing your eyebrows first is you've got to get the makeup to them. I'm actually really impressed with this is our makeup look. We had a, a rocky, rocky, rough start. But I'm telling you, I think I'm back in the game with it. Like, I'm well happy. Um, But yeah, so, what's everyone doing on their bank holiday? I've got a really, really exciting, like, series coming up that I've decided that I'm going to be doing on my YouTube. It's going to be... Which I think will be quite funny. Right. So because I've actually been trying to film since um, half twelve, my tummy is not happy. It is growling. You might be able to hear it. I'm not that much of a fan of this beauty bakery powder, you know. I got it as a substitute for my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I've run out of that and I'm waiting for some more to be delivered. And... I'm just not that much of a fan of this. I feel like it's really, really white. Like, <laughs> what? Well, I feel like it's really, really white. Like, when you brush it away, like, it's still white, if that makes sense. Like, aren't it absolutely terrifying? Look, do you know what I mean? Like, that looks white still to me. I actually can't wait for Halloween. So excited. I feel like once the autumn clothes start coming out i just become obsessed like, i love jackets i love layering clothes and being cozy and halloween it just comes as a part of that and i just can't wait like i'm gonna be doing some halloween tutorials if you like go on my makeup instagram and you scroll like quite far down you'll see the ones that i did like last year and the year before um I love it. I actually love doing it. Um, so I'll probably do some of those. I love like scaring myself and going to scary places. Near me there's a park that does, um, it's called like Wat Tyler Park. And they do um, like scary trails. I don't know what it is actually. It's like different, different like buildings that you go in and they've like done them up differently. And then there's like actors walking around as well and they like chase you and stuff. It was really good. It doesn't sound good, but it is like, if you like to scare yourself, then it is good. My all time favorite one is um, a place called Scaresville and it's in like Suffolk or somewhere. Um, and it's in a place called Kentwell Hall. And basically they do the scariest night that you will ever, ever, ever endure. Like, is that the right word? Endure? Honestly, it's so scary it's so good like is anyone else like scaring themselves like i watch loey lane on youtube as well she's such got such good scary stories so like, if anyone else has like, a really good paranormal person that they watch put them in the comments please because i'm obsessed there's actually a new a new one coming out like a new um horror walk thing coming out like near me it's gonna be like the first year that they've done it this year so i'm definitely gonna be going to that like i love it and they have that like fort park one don't they as well i've been there before that's really good as well i literally love it like there's something about halloween like october time i feel like it has like a certain smell like i know like when you like can like wrap up it goes all like cold and cozy and i don't know, I feel like it starts to smell like bonfire-y i don't know I don't know where I'm going with that, but I'm really, 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 really excited that today I'm going to be opening a new, ah, a new 
opal highlighter. I forgot I even had bought this and I'd run out of my other one ages ago. Um, oh my god, this is my... Oh, it's so nice. It's like opal. It's like a pinky, champagne-y, just amazing highlighter. I haven't used it in so long and I just can't wait for this moment. Oh, it's so nice. I love Becca highlight. The only thing is, is I don't put this in the inner corner of my eye because you can't really see, but sometimes it can look quite dark. Now, if I compare it to um, the Anastasia, okay, you can't really tell, can you? But this one, I feel like, holds more shadows, if that makes sense. So when it's in the inner corner of your eye, sometimes it can make it look a little bit dark. And um, so I just avoid that in my inner corner, if anybody was interested. Um, I'm just going to take my Anastasia one in my inner corner and then under my eyebrow bone as well. I actually am so happy with how this has come out. Like, honestly, I feel like I haven't been to any festivals this year. Like, my mum goes to bloody V. Well, it's not V. Whatever that one was. Rise? Is that the one that replaced it? I think so. And I do her makeup for it and then there's me i've been going to a festival does anyone else have a sony a5 100 and find that it always overheats and the like temperature symbol always comes up that is so irritating i love pepsi max my lips look so weird because i haven't got my like they're very foundation-y you hate it when you get that line I'm actually so hungry. Can't wait to get to my friend's house. She's got Costco chicken nuggets. <gasps> Literally, if you don't know about Costco chicken nuggets, then do you even know about chicken nuggets? I'm so sorry if you're vegan or vegetarian, by the way. Sorry, that was disrespectful. But they're just really, really nice. And I really like them. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna do my under eye mascara and then we can try and sort out this mane of mine honestly i just want my hair to grow like it just won't grow it's really irritating me if anyone knows how to grow hair please put in the um comments because honestly i feel like i've been trying to grow my hair for so long like to be fair i used to have really really long hair and then i cut it to like here and then I cut it like even like literally like there it was so short. And then at that point I was like, oh wow, like <laughs> shit, my hair's really short. Um, and now I really want long hair again. And I feel like I've been trying to grow it for like a year. And every time I grow it, I go to the hairdressers and then she like cuts it back off again. And then I'm like, okay, let's try again. It's just like a vicious cycle. But if anyone knows anything that actually works, like I don't know if that like hair burst anybody anyone had anything that works for hair growth like i sometimes wear extensions but it's just not the same like that hair burst looks good because you just like, have to eat a gummy and that'd be like eating a sweet and if it's a sweet then <laughs> if i can get long hair from eating a sweet i'm gonna get long hair by eating a sweet should i put a bit of that like foiled shade under my eye maybe like here I feel bad that this wasn't like a full on tutorial. If anyone does actually want to see like an in depth tutorial of how I did this eye makeup, then I will film it. Excuse me, the pair. I actually really like it. Lovely, jubbly. Right, let's do my hair. Let's do my hair. Right, and if anyone is actually still here, we're gonna do my hair. So I think I just want to like curl it. I'm not very good at hair, but I did like do some curls in it the other day and it actually looked like quite nice. It was like just like really loose and then I kind of like straightened the end so it looked a little bit longer because it is really short. Let's just go with it. I'm just using my straighteners to curl. I normally just like clip and do like one full twist. Oh, try not to stop. See, that's like too curly. Probably end up doing like one, one side on camera. And then coming back and showing you what it looks like. 
when it's done. So that one's alright because it looks quite long still. Honestly, I have stra I have um, extensions, but I just can't seem to curl them. Like they always just go like, you know, like those really, really ugly spiral curls that no one wants when they're curling their hair. That's like what mine does. Whereas like when I do it with straighteners, it goes like really nice and bouncy. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Brush it out a little bit. And then I know this probably isn't very good for my hair, but I'm just gonna like straighten the ends a bit just to elongate them. So I'm not starting the curl as high up. All right, instead of, I feel like I'm just looking in my mirror, I'm so sorry. Instead of like start curling it here, I'm curling it like further down. And with this bit around my face, I'm gonna just twist it and pull it away. Because then it like goes off your face. So then I'm left with this. And I feel like this will drop as well. So. And look, I don't I feel like I haven't really lost that much length, if you know what I mean. So I feel like it gives that the illusion that my hair's longer because it's curly and still kind of the same length. So loving that. Right, I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be back to just say goodbye to my little angels. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that was my completely probably failed get ready with me just to have a little chat and yeah, just yeah, get ready together basically and have a little catch up. So if you did actually make it to the end, then thank you so so much for watching so if you did enjoy this video then please give it a massive thumbs up and thank you so so much for watching and yeah i'll see you in my next one i love you so so much make sure to be following my social medias for my giveaway okay so i'll see you very very soon love you all lots and lots and lots and thank you for watching